Hi, this is Kashpunisa Bhagyawari. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about Amazon DynamoDB scan. So this is part 1 video and in this part 1, I am going to cover the points scan in your table, filter expression, limiting the number of items, counting the items and paginating scan result. So uh, in this part 1, uh, we will see most of the theoretical part and part 2, uh, we will have hands-on demo and I will show how to uh, uh, scan a table from your uh, AWS console. So let's start with the part 1 and the first section it is scanning a table. So a scan operation in Amazon DynamoDB reads every item in a table. So in case you want to retry all the items from your DynamoDB table, you can use a scan. In SQL, a select statement without a WHERE clause will return every row in a table. In Amazon DynamoDB, the scan operation does the same thing. So whenever you are, uh, if we, before you use uh, SQL, so if uh, like a uh, select statement without a WHERE clause is same like scan table in DynamoDB. So in both cases, you can retrieve all the items or just some of them. By default, a scan operation returns all of the data attributes uh, for every item in the table or index. You can use the projection expression parameter so that it can only return some of the attributes rather than all of them. So if you want to retrieve all the items, all the records, uh, uh, you can use a scan table or if you don't want to retrieve data for all your attributes, so you can uh, use projection expression. So here is the example. You can see here for SQL, we are doing like this, select star from music. So it returns all the data in the music table, from the music table. And this uh, statement is similar to DynamoDB uh, scan statements. Uh, you can see here, uh, AWS DynamoDB scan table name music. So these two statements are uh, similar. Those two statements will give the same result and you will get all the data from your table. If you don't want to retry all the data, so you can, uh, ret you want to retry uh, some of uh, records from only some of the tables. So you, uh, in uh, SQL, we are doing like this, select artist title from music. So we are providing you the, our column names. So in this similar way, in uh, DynamoDB, we can do like this, AWS DynamoDB scan, table name here is music, projection expression, artist and title. So uh, this statement will return all the values for artist and title um, attributes uh, and uh, from the music table. So in this way, you can use projection expression with the DynamoDB scan. So moving ahead, filter expression for scan. If you need to further refine the scan results, you can optionally provide a filter expression. So if you want to find more fine tune your uh, scan query, you can use filter expression. A filter expression determines which items within the scan results should be returned to you. All of the other results are discarded. So if it is a filter expression is nothing but the where clause in SQL statement, so you can use uh, uh, some condition and you will retry all the records, all the items which matches only your condition. So a filter expression is applied after a scan finishes but before the results are returned. So uh, DynamoDB first scans your table and when the scan operation is complete, then uh, before returning uh, result to uh, you, uh, it uh, uh, applies the filter expression and from that what you will get the uh, records, uh, the items which matches to your condition. So therefore a scan consumes the same amount of read capacity regardless of uh, whether uh, filter expression is present. A scan operation can retrieve a maximum of 1 MB of data. This limit applies before the filter expression is evaluated. So you can retrieve maximum of 1 MB of data. 
With this scan, you can specify any attributes in a filter expression, including partition key and sort key attributes. So, in scan, uh, your scan statement, you can use any attributes so to, for using the filter expression, including partition key and sort key attributes. The syntax for filter expression is identical to that of condition expression. Filter expression can use the same of uh, sorry, same comparators, functions, and logical operators as a condition expression with the addition of not equals to operator. So, we saw a condition expression in our last video from DynamoDB query. So, this is the syntax is similar with the uh, uh, key condition expression syntax is similar with the filter expression. Uh, but in filter expression, we can use uh, any attributes including partition key and sort key but for the condition expression we are using only partition key and sort key not other attributes so that is the difference but syntax is same so you can see here the example aws dynamodb scan table name is here thread filter expression is last posted bar equals to colon name expression attribute values colon name uh, is uh, of uh, data type uh, string and its value is user a so what we will get here result it will uh, it will return all the records uh, from thread table uh, for the uh, last posted by user a so uh, if you uh, want to convert into sql statement this can be like this select star from thread where last posted by equals to user a so in this way you can uh, apply filter expression it is nothing but the where condition and you will retry all the items which matches your this condition so here is last posted by user a so okay uh, you can see here example and in this way we can apply the filter expression so moving ahead limiting the number of items in the result set the scan operation enables you to limit the number of items that it returns in the result to do this set the limit parameter to maximum number of items that you want the scan operation to return prior to filter expression evaluation so if you don't want to retry all your items you want if in case you want to first 10 records you want to get first 20 items 10 items you can use the limit so limit but you have to here uh, you can check here suppose uh, you have to provide that limit parameter or to the maximum number prior to the filter expression evaluation for example suppose that you scan a table with a limit value of 6 and without a filter expression, the scan result contains the first six items from the table. So, if you are not using filter expression, then you will uh, get, you will retrieve the first six items from your table. If you apply the limit is six, so you will get first six items from your table. And now suppose uh, you add a filter expression to the scan. In this case, DynamoDB applies the filter expression to the first six items that we return, uh, disregarding those that do not match. The final scan result contains six items or fewer, depending on the number of items that were filtered. So if you are using a filter expression, so DynamoDB first uh, scan the uh, your table and it retrieves the six items from your table and on that six items it will then apply the filter expression so uh, suppose if you are passing number six so in your result set you may get fewer records than six so you have to pass the number and you have to uh, think about this the number should be prior to the filter expression evaluation so here is the example aws dynamodb scan table name is thread filter expression this is the same like we saw in our previous slide of filter expression 
only we added here one additional parameter that is limit 6 so it will uh, we will get the first six uh, items from our thread table which uh, uh, last posted by user a so in this way you can uh, use the limit parameter to get the limited number of items counting the items in the result in addition the items that match your criteria the scan response contains the following elements like scan count and count so in your uh, result set whatever you are uh, getting from scan operation you get these two additional parameters like scan count and count so scan count is nothing but the number of items evaluated before any scan filter is applied and count is nothing but the number of items that remain after a filter expression so when uh, dynamodb executes your scan operation how many records dynamodb scans from your table that is the count of scan count and after filter expression whatever you retrieve the items that count is nothing but the count if the size of the scan result set is larger than 1 MB, scan count and count represent only a partial count of the total item. You need to perform multiple scan operations to retrieve all the results. So if your data set is larger and from your uh, one uh, DynamoDB scan operation, uh, you can get a maximum of 1 MB of data. And if you want to retry all your records, all your items, you have to perform multiple scan operation. So how you will do this? With the help of pagination. So what is pagination? It is uh, DynamoDB paginates the results from scan operation. With pagination, the scan results are divided into pages of data that are 1 MB in size or less. So if you are getting um, larger data than 1 MB, DynamoDB divides into your data set into some pages and you can retrieve page by page uh, like do so and an application can process the first page of result then the second page and so on so in your application you need to handle this uh, pagination and you can uh, like uh, do retry first page and then second and then so so you can you have to uh, execute multiple uh, scan operations to retry all your data which are larger than 1 MB. So first page is of 1 MB or fewer size, second page is again 1 MB or uh, fewer of uh, size. In this way you can uh, retry all page by page result set. A scan, uh, sorry, a single scan only returns a result set that fits within the 1 MB size limit to determine whether there are more results and to retry them one page at a time, application should do the following. So first step is examine the low level scan result. So you can uh, examine your uh, result set. If the result contains a last evaluate key element and is not null, proceed to step 2. If there is not a last evaluate key in the result, there are no more items to be retried. So suppose if you are having larger data set and uh, your scan uh, query operation is getting data uh, 1 MB at a time, if you want to retry all the data, you can follow this step. First, you have to monitor uh, it, if it is uh, in your result set, last evaluated key is present and it is not null, means then you have to retry more data. So uh, then in that case, you can go to step two. So if there is no last evaluated key in your result set, means you, uh, you get all your complete data, no more records are to be retried. For second step, you can construct a new scan result with the same parameter as the previous one. However, this time take the last evaluated key from step one and use it as an exclusive start key parameter in the new scan request. So uh, in the second step, you can take the, uh, you can uh, use the same scan query, same scan request 
and you can add uh, you have to add one additional parameter that is exclusive start key and uh, its value should be uh, value of last evaluated key which you retried in your first result set so run the new scan request and go to step one so in this way you can uh, complete you can get your complete result set and suppose uh, you are each time you have to check if last evaluated key is present uh, means you have to go to again step two and uh, if it is not present okay means that means you retry all your data and you have to if it is present then you have to again execute your scan request and go to step one so you can follow like this cycle to retry all your items from your table so in other words, the last evaluate key uh, from a scan re uh, response should be used as exclusive start key for the next scan request. So in this way, you can get your complete data. So I hope uh, you got it and you understand this. Okay, if you have any doubt or any query, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.